Okay, I'm going to show you how to split a bigger piece of wood. Now there's basically two ways to do it. If you want to look right down here, that's the very center of the wood, right there, the log, the heart wood here, and then the, the kind of the pith there. Now you can split in a dirt straight line across like this. I'll show you how that's done. And then I'll show you another technique that you can use. So if you want to back up there a little bit, you're fine right there. So you have to, you have to hit in line with this is where you want to hit. You want to get right in near the center there. So start out on that side and then you want to go to the other side like that. And you just have to kind of go in between like that. It takes a little while. There we can see we're getting the crack bigger. Starting to crack the whole way across now. So we're getting there. The more hits you do it I think Go on the other side now. Oh, didn't get it quite perfect there, but so there's that. This is a birch, old birch tree. Then of course you can. What typically you'll do when you do it this way, you have it, and then you quarter it. So this is quartering it like that, and then it's manageable. You can throw them in the trailer and whatever else. And then of course this side here, you have this big, big uh, branch where to come out like this. So you get some really weird grain in there, some crotch wood in here. And it's just about impossible to split that type of thing, unless it's really rotted. So here you just want to kind of, I'll stay off to the side in here, again pointing towards the center, and uh, try to get it, you know, chopped down a little bit smaller so we can lift it up. But, Bark's holding it on, but so a little bit more manageable. Then what you do is to get it lifted up, you just take your hookaroon like that, sink it in, lift it, and that's it. And uh, when you get a young boy to help. On, get the other one. Come on, I'm not paying you 25 cents a day for. The All right, <laughs> now that's done. Let me get another one over here. Uh, I might be able to do it with this one. I don't know. You know, it's got kind of a squirrely edge to it there, but you can do this different ways. You can kind of lift and drag like that or if you can get it over on the side this one's got that big crotchwood area there again but uh get it over on the side like this and it's just a matter of straightening it out and rolling it where you want to go like that and then you just tip it up now i'll show you the other way to split a big firewood round like this if you'll excuse me, please, Luther. Please uh, vacate the premises here. I don't want to hit you. Okay, now, in this one, let me get this over here a little bit more. In this one, what we're going to do, we're actually, instead of trying to split it in half, we're going to work from the outside in. So start splitting here on the outside. Come on, Luther, get, get. You're too close. I don't want to split you. Luther's birthday is today too, so pretty neat. All right, let's try splitting from the outside in. Okay, so we're already through. Put that off, and then you just go around the outside. So it's going to work perfectly because we have that crotch wood over there, but. Ah, yeah, see, it's that green is really hard to work with. You get kind of bigger. You can see how wide that piece is right there. Well, fairly simple because you just pop it right in the middle and it splits. But I can probably get one more over this way. Yeah, like that. 
maybe another no <laughs> and then see again here we have the center right there so I could still split this way which is what I'm going to do now there we go with that and you can as long as I'm not getting over into the screen over here I should be okay I could probably chop this one off right about in here see if we can do it yes we can so that just shows how to do some um, bigger rounds of firewood if you get into that most of the stuff here on our property especially it was logged really hard this big birch tree they left it because it was not real perfectly straight a lot of branches coming off and uh, so it fell down I think two years ago and we've just been trying to get back in our trails way over that way so we had to cut a trail back in here a little side road so we could uh, split this thing but uh, I'll show you now how to how to buck a big log safely so you don't uh, get your bar pinched. So we'll be right back. to duck in and through all that different brush there all right um, let me explain here what I'm going to be doing I'm going to basically uh, it'd be a basically a bucking cut like you would use in logging when you're cutting to different lengths um, and what a lot of guys do is they start at the top and they cut down and then try to come up underneath and cut up underneath and a lot of times you end up getting your bar pinched doing that so I'm going to show you a good way to do it before you do this, before you start to work on stuff like this, you want to make sure what's underneath your log. Um, this thing here, if you can see down here, there's a log going this way. It's, it's old rotted log, so it's up on top of that old rotted log. So, and down under here, it's just, you know, the, lo the rotted log. So there's no big rocks or anything underneath this which is rather important um, because if you have a big rock uh, your cutters and your rakers and things don't tend to like rocks uh, I found that out plenty of times in my years of doing some logging and firewood cutting so this thing is so old and rotted it won't be a problem to get through it with that soil but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do just in case you're wondering is I'm going to show I'm going to cut I'm still going to use the principle of having some wood cutting from the top and the bottom because there's a little bit of tension it's it's here leaning touching there and then back there and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and get my saw almost straight up and down and bring it back and then just have a little bit of section in here that I can finish very easily so that's what I'm going to do for this log so let's get to it
All right, now I'm going to do my other three cuts from the top, down, go down a little bit, and then I'll get the cant hook, roll it over and finish my cuts, and then I'm done with this log. So, this isn't the greatest example of bucking correctly because it's not a real big long log, but uh, if you bring it, your saw almost straight up and down, like, you know, perfectly vertical like that, and it'll save you from pinching your bar, getting your bar caught. I've done that, I don't know how many times. Probably a few thousand, <laughs> but we'll continue. I'm just gonna cut these three lines right there for my firewood, and then we'll flip the log over and continue. Problem now is I don't want to hit this little tree here. It's living. It's a pretty decent little tree, so let's make sure that you get things out of the way from that. So a little hard to maneuver a log when you have another tree in the way. There. Now we're ready. Oh. And that's it. 